I'm Michaela Chavez, your neighborhood news reporter in Kingsville. Dry conditions and windy weather are a recipe for disaster during wildfire season. And for small and rural communities, sometimes volunteer firefighters are the only protection these communities have. 12 people. That's how many volunteers the Kingsville Volunteer Fire Department has right now. Jose de Leon is one of them. He's been volunteering for 40 years. The passion, the, uh, the action, the adrenaline. He works full time as a barber, but when duty calls, he puts down the scissors and picks up his gear. From there, well, if I'm called, I take off and do what we need to do. But it's not that easy for other volunteers who also work full time. If they can't leave work, that makes it harder for those who need their help. We also assist other departments in surrounding areas, and that's uh, uh, why we need more people, so we can be able to assist at the same time, leave people behind to take care of the place here. And when conditions are dry and windy, they go on high alert. In those types of conditions, fires can spread quickly. And then we take off to that place, whoever's here. Sometimes it's three, four, sometimes it's five, depending on whoever shows up. And they're looking for volunteers with a burning passion to help. All you got to do is, is, is uh, go back to any, any major brush fire that's occurred, wildland fire that's occurred in, the, uh, uh, in, in Claiborne County. Uh, they've been front and center. At least 10 more volunteer firefighters are needed. If you're interested, just show up to one of their meetings held the first three Tuesdays of every month. Those meetings will be held at the Kingsville Volunteer Fire Department's headquarters. With your neighborhood news in Kingsville, I'm Michaela Chavez, Chris X News.